Hi, welcome to Troubadour's videos. Today we're going to check out EVGA's GTX 285 classified GPU. Now you saw recent benchmarks with this GPU in 4-way SLI, so let's check out some of the features of this graphics card and see exactly what makes it so special. And here is the GTX 285 classified edition. What's so special about this card is it's one of the world's first four-way SLI compatible graphics cards. So let's have a look inside the box and see exactly what comes with this graphics card. With the card you'll receive a installation guide and driver CD. You also receive a special guide that highlights the special aspects of this card and how to configure them as well as a couple of helpful web links to guide you there. In the front pouch of the package you receive an SPDIF audio cable, a HDMI DVI adapter, two power dongles and a DVI VGA adapter. In the main package here we have our graphics card so let's open this up and have a look at this graphics card. And here it is, the EVJ GTX 285 classified graphics card. Let's have a closer look at this card in a moment, but here is a quick overview. And here is the EVJ GTX 285 Classified Edition GPU. This is the world's first 4-way SLI GPU. Let's have a closer look at the GPU and check out some of its features. On the back of the card we have this huge vent, two DVI ports, as well as an additional accessory port for the EVJ EV bot. Now the EVJ EV bot's a new accessory, it's a hardware overclocking tool that's yet, yet to be announced by EVGA. On the back of the graphics card we have this huge heatsink. Purpose of this heatsink is to provide additional cooling to the components on this graphics card. On the side of the graphics card we have our two SLI connections, SPDIF audio connection, as well as three 6-pin power hookups. These three 6-pin power hookups all need to be utilized. This is for overclocking and providing as much power possible to overclock the GPU and the memory on this graphics card. This graphics card also comes with modular heatsinks, so if needed you can remove the GPU heatsink and install a third party cooler such as LN2 or dry ice etc. The main heatsink for this GPU is an aluminum block with copper heat pipes and aluminum fins. Unlike other models of the GTX 285, the classified version has its top plate made from 2mm thick black aluminum. This does nothing but boost the thermal cooling potential by turning this graphics card into one huge heatsink. And for all you guys who dare to go to the extreme, this card does come with an X-Cool option. This basically means that you disable the thermal protection on the GPU, so it means the GPU cold bugs are a thing of the past. Now if you're going to conduct this kind of activity with LN2, you'll need to switch switch number 1 to the on position. With this GPU, in order to activate 4-way SLI, you will need to ensure that each GPU has this switch number 2 turned to the off position. And finally, for all you guys who want the ultimate in voltage measurements in real time, we have the EVJ Easy Voltage Read-In Pads. These measure the GPU core, memory VDD, memory VDDQ, and PLL voltage with ease using a voltmeter or multimeter. This option does provide you the most accurate and reliable voltage measurements for overclocking the bandits out of this GPU. Let's have a look at some more pictures of this graphics card and check it out in 4-way SLI. Mm -hmm. 
Thanks again for watching Troubadour's videos. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe if you wish to stay up to date with the latest and greatest in gaming and PC hardware.